we have been utilizing the predefined power of functions in order to implement any of our business logic inside our application hey everyone this is prashant chaudhary i welcome you all to my channel classy power app in this video we will be focusing on the functions that are available inside the power app and suppose if we need to write some business logic and that logic needs to be performed at various places inside the application so does it mean that we are going to use all predefined function every other place it would make the app little bit heavier because the same line of code is executing with the different arguments every time so in that case we should proceed with the custom functions yes we can write custom functions in power app how we can do that let me just show you i'm just taking to my power app editor screen and here in order to create your custom function which you can call anywhere inside your, your application by passing different different arguments you need to first turn it on from your settings so you can get your settings from anywhere like i have this at this place and and here as well this the, the positioning of this setting can differs from version to version of this editor like right, right now i can find it from here later i'll just go to the updates and i search for the function and then i have a property that is user defined function i need to turn this toggle on it says that before turning it on you need to turn on the new analysis engine so let's say okay we'll go with the new analysis engine and here i have this property turn it this on now i'll go back right i will just turn on that user defined functions the moment you turn it on these two properties you just click cross go to your address screen and then here if you have a app and inside this app you have a property that is formulas let me just delete whatever is written there now here we can write our custom function where we will mention what would be the argument that would be passed what would be the name of the function what would be the uh, functioning or the logic that would be there and what would be the output okay if i understand let me just open one of my notepad if you understand what is inside the function so we would need function name function arguments or maybe uh, you can call it as parameters and then you would need the function output and you would need function output logic these all four things we would need so how we can write i'm just we need to follow some sort of a predefined syntax in order to write a function inside this power app so the syntax would be you need to write the function name open bracket and close bracket inside this open bracket you need to pass your arguments argument one semicolon the data type of that argument then comma other argument you can pass multiple argument as per your requirement if you have three you can pass three four five it totally on you on your case data type and then you just use semicolon you would write what with the out, what with the data type of your output okay so we, i would write output data type and then equals to the logic that you want to perform okay that is the syntax we need, we are going to follow so let's say i need a function that can do all my operations like uh, if i ask it to do the arithmetic 
addition it can do that arithmetic subtraction multiplication division all it can do okay so i need such sort of a custom function so how i would write i would say custom calculator let's say this is my function name equals to not equals to but actually open and close bracket then i would need the first argument then my first argument would be operation semicolon and the data type what would be the data type of this operation so i need it to be a text then i need num1 that's my number one again i need it to be a type of number then i need num2 again it would be of type number only come out from the bracket semicolon and then i would write what would the data type of my output so my output i need it to be a type of a text okay later i need use equals to then i need the logic that would that is going to be used okay so i let's say i'm using switch function switch which value i need to use in the set set the switch i need operations operation because or operation would be my first argument so operation would tell me what arith arithmetic operation would be performed on the num1 and num2 okay let me use this as small yes and then let's say if operation you pass plus then it should do i would need the let's say dollar addition of numbers addition of num1 and num2 is num1 plus num2 all quotes close now i use the same for every other place for my second case i need it for the subtraction so i write subtraction and the here subtraction then this one third case would be my let's say multiplication multiplication i need to change it from here as well then my fourth case would be let's say division and for the default case i need it to just call invalid invalid operation passed and then i just close this one and i end of line okay so my custom function is ready my function name is custom kelsey my it has three argument operation number num2 and it would give me some text output now let's try if i have a screen and i have a, i let me just add some label let's say text label i'm going to say is addition and and then i can call my function my function name is custom kelsey open this bracket and then it would give me all the argument that i need to pass here so first my operation I just pass inside the double quotes plus symbol 
then my number three and number four and then close it now you can see okay it is already writing this addition things okay so here you can see it is take telling me that it's an addition of three and four is seven if i just use four labels let's say this one and one more this one let's say for this one i am going to change the operation as minus so it is saying subtraction of three and four is minus one if i just change this to star it says multiplication of three and four is 12 and if i write it as a division it says the division of three and four is 0 0.75 so here you can see i have write a custom function and i'm just using it based on the different different arguments at many places so that's how we can write custom functions inside power app and how we can use it i hope you like this video and if you have any queries into the custom function you can just write to me or contact me on my linkedin thank you all thanks for watching this video